have you found living in my home? Uh, scary because I think there are spirits and shadow beings all over the place. Here really? Right yeah. Yeah. Well. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the beautiful south of London. That's right, that sunshine. Ooh. It is absolutely gorgeous during this time of the year. In this video, there's going to be many firsts. The first time I'm wearing a cardigan whatever that means in a video and the sun is gone now first time I'm doing a juice cleanse ever I'm gonna see how long I can last without food solid food and secondly and most importantly I'm taking care of a friend's dog by myself and you know I don't have a lot of experiences with dogs but this is gonna be interesting so join me on this journey of learning new things and she just isn't any kind of dog. She's a staffy. Staffshire Bull Terrier or Staffy. They're quite popular. This one, uh, this one's called Zia. They're one of two breeds in the whole country that have been approved by the Kennel Club uh, to um, to be allowed to be recommended to be with children. It is a um, a, a kind of uh, pit bull. It has a pit bull features on it, but they were they were treated very cruelly when they were bred a hundred years ago, and they were killed, mass slaughtered, if any of them ever showed their family anything other than affection. So over years, over years of generational breeding, they've come down to being like this, very friendly, and because of their history as like. Um, um, hunting dogs or pit bull fighting, people think that they're dangerous, but that's just a thing. It's down to the owner. If the owner's dangerous, then the dog's dangerous. So, no so, so she, so she could be dangerous yeah, if trained if to be. Yeah, but I am dangerous. Okay. Okay, so the first meal meal of this juice cleanse, and I don't know exactly what's inside, but when my friend Jason gets home from work, he'll be able to explain it to us better, or should I say, better. Okay, that was kind of... Anyways, let's just drink. <laughs> so you might be wondering, why am I doing this? Well, you see, when I'm traveling on the road to make these vlogs and documentaries, I don't always have my health at the first priority. I don't always get to eat the most nutritious or healthy food at all. Sometimes I don't even get to eat. So I want to give my digestive system and my health a reset. It's all right to let your organs and your intestines and your colon rest. And with doing the juice cleanse, hopefully that will be the case. And plus, I'm also looking to lose a little bit of weight as well. It's almost impossible at times to have a routine while you're on the road. You don't know what tomorrow is going to be like. So while I'm here and I have a few days here, this is kind of like my rest and edit period. And it will allow me to kind of rejuvenate and thus uh, maybe I'll feel a little bit better because recently I've been feeling really, really under the weather. I, I just haven't been energetic. I've been just kind of like, just I just, you just feel it. You know, sometimes you're just kind of sick inside. You just kind of feel like, Oh, very lethargic, low energy, and just my mental um, capacity isn't what it used to be. I mean, when I got here back in London, I was so lost. I mean, I've been I've been lost in the <laughs> in the underground for like three hours or so last last night. <sighs> it's very difficult to get her to come back in at times. When she's out here, she wants to stay out. Come on, come back in. Come on, come on, Zia, 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 come on, Zia, come on, come back in. Good, 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 good. Okay, sit. Okay, now she has a routine, and before she's allowed to come back into the house, there's certain things that we have to do to let her back. First thing is to clean her paws with water. Notice how I said water. Yep, she's definitely trained for this, and then you also have to wipe. 
this. Power up, please. Power up, please. I was just about to finish my second, uh, my second bottle here. Yeah, guys, it is already taking. <laughs> see, it is already taking a toll on me. This not eating thing. I have a slight headache. Uh, I feel very hungry right now. But fortunately, my stomach doesn't hurt that much. It, it, I just have a headache. So I'm just trying my best to drink some more and, and finish the rest. And hopefully Jason gets home soon so he can make more. Because I, I, he, he didn't teach me how to juice it yet. And I have no idea how to, how to, how to juice it. I got food for you, but none for me. So it is about dinner time right now, and I am really feeling it. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> that food looks so good right now. I am so hungry. <laughs> is that good, buddy? Can I have some? <laughs> oh, how do I feel right now? Dizzy. I feel very dizzy right now. And hungry, dizzy and hungry. Oh, and she finished it all in like one, one sitting. Okay, get some water. Get some water. What's the benefit of the juice plants? Well, that it's meant to, it's meant to improve uh, all levels of healthcare for you. So, you, you have all your nutrition in one drink. Is it gonna grow me a, a beard like yours? <laughs> yeah, it will. Oh, nice. I start growing a beard as soon as I start drinking juice. Nice. Oh, but I forget to put some in. That doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't sound right at all. So this is your normal life, huh? Therapeutic. This is my normal life, yes. So washing vegetables then. Go down the chute. Yeah. Oh. You don't need more than this. Alright, so how many bottles do we have total? One, six. two, six for three days, so two days, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just Let's drink that now. Are yeah, you hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. That's mm. the That's a lot of ginger. Nature's juice. It's a lot of ginger in there. Yeah. So tomorrow officially you're gonna leave her with me yeah. for two nights. Yeah, that's right. And you're gonna do a really good job. Oh, staying alive. <laughs> She's gonna take care of you. This is gonna be a preview of my adult British life. You just have to feed her, take her, take her to the toilet, wipe her bum before she comes in. That's it. Keep the house clean. You miss me today. Do you like Kyle? Did Kyle wipe your bum? Lovely okay. to see you okay. again and we see have, when we get back okay. we have and to have a good time. Trains. Thank you, thank you. We have to yeah. go into the centre of London and get yes. a, a, yeah. a longer train. Everything will be safe. Where's my hug and kiss, Carl? Yes, yes. this is the British, uh, British yeah. for the fans. Yeah, okay, Every, yeah. good luck guys. Have fun. And no need to worry about anything. Everything is good, no worries. Bye, Zia. Just, you know, when you come back, please bring food. Be good. <laughs> yeah, bring food. Fish yeah. and chips, please. Bring food. <laughs> Talk to you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't be like The Shining. What does that mean? Jack Nicholson, The Shining. He goes crazy living in someone else's home. Okay. Bye. Who's Jack Nicholson? Zia. 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 So many of you are wondering, wait a minute, it's just a dog. What's the big deal? Well, look, guys, I don't have much experience with dogs. In fact, my cousin recently adopted a Labradoodle, and I've been helping to take care of her, but it's quite different than a Staffy, that's for sure. You see, when I was young, I had very little exposure to dogs as well. They chased me, they barked at me, I was scared of them, and I'm still scared to this very day of larger dogs, but it's getting better and better with more exposure. So I'm very appreciative of Jason and Christina allowing me not only to stay in their home so I can edit videos, but also to, to have an experience where I can preview what my life will be like when one day I'm British in the south of London in a beautiful home with a beautiful dog like this. So 
I'm very fortunate in that sense. Not only do I get to preview people's, you know, life as my own through their careers, through their jobs, but I also get to see how they live in their normal everyday life. And to you, it might be mundane, but to me, it's far from it. So this is a very special moment for me. And I'm very hungry. I, I really wish, you know, this would have been perfect if I could just order some fish and chips right now. And I really want to right now. <laughs> you have no idea how difficult it is. That's, those are my meals. So I'm pretty much allowed two of these bottles per day. I already drank almost one to completion. Uh, it is almost four o'clock in the afternoon. So I had a shot of espresso in the morning, no sugar, and some Himalayan salt to cure the headaches. My stomach feels okay. It actually feels lighter, like my belly feels flatter. I have a headache, uh, usually they say the second day is the worst because the hunger cravings are just all mental, it's all mental, right? But I definitely feel uncomfortable, I don't feel like myself, I feel like I should be taking a nap, um, but I don't want to because I have to edit, but I'm having a really difficult time editing because I can't focus. And with editing, you really have to focus, you have to sit and think and listen and, you know, even some, some motor skills like clicking the mouse and doing it precisely, it's challenging to me. But it's not that bad, it's not that bad. It, it, it's, it's, it's miserable, especially trying to go on Facebook and Instagram and seeing all your food. Ugh. <laughs> Man, it's tough. Man, I'm having a hard time. Oh. Zia, go to toilet. Sometimes she needs encouragement. Come on, Zia, come on. Does she wanna come out here so that she can just play around or does she want to come out so she can use the restroom? That's the tricky part. That's what I have to decipher. Zia, go to toilet. Come on, come on. Go to toilet. Go. Go to toilet. You don't need to go to the toilet? Zia, come on. Are you sure? I don't think you went to the restroom this morning. I'm talking to a dog. It's very weird. It's very weird for me to be doing this, guys. Sit. Zia, sit. Zia, drop it. Again, I need a British accent. Dialect. Leave it. Sit. Sit. With dogs, you have to be firm. Leave it. No. And of course, the most important thing is to wipe your dog after they use the restroom. Now, many of you don't do this. I highly recommend that you do. I'm not gonna show you this part. You want this? Lay down. Good. Go over there. Back. Good. Okay, stay. Stay. <laughs> this is so awesome. She is very intelligent. But this smells very good. It smells like beef jerky. I'm very tempted to just take a bite, but this is for you. Here you go. Go. Oh. <laughs> I don't get to experience this this lifestyle very often. I mean, just a lazy afternoon, you know, sitting in my pajamas. Well, actually, not my pajamas. They're Jason's sleep clothes. But still, still, you know, you get a nice dog. It's chilly weather. It's drizzly. You know, sports entertainment is on TV. It's, it's a surround sound. You know, I'm I'm very fortunate. And and sometimes to take a step back, you know, you guys, it's like, oh, it's every day. It's your every Sunday. But for me, it's not. You know, for me, I I can't take this for granted because I really really appreciate moments like these. And I know you've seen me travel all over the world and do all sorts of things. But sometimes it's just something as simple as this. This is what I don't have in my life, and this is what I want. This is what I want. I, I want. To just be able to relax sometimes and, and, and I will have it one day. One day I will have it. I will have this. This will be my life. You know, maybe in England. Who knows, you know? Go to toilet. Go. You ready to go to bed? Alright, so. Third day. I don't feel any better. Actually, I think I feel a lot worse. So let's go drink some juice. And then I got to shower real quick. And then a full day of editing. And as I'm starting to do this more and more, I'm quickly realizing that maybe I'm just 
just a fish type of a guy, you know? Maybe a frog. Be a turtle. You know? Yes, I'm not Jason, but I'm just wearing his clothes. <laughs> no, don't don't sniff that. Don't sniff that. No, no, it's just a lens cap. <laughs> you want to help me edit? The third day is not any better. In fact, it's the worst. <sighs> it is... The morning of the fourth day, I'm gonna break my fast in like 20 seconds from now. But I just wanted to tell you guys that I feel good this morning. Very light, very airy. In fact, the lightest I've ever felt in a very long time. Simply because, you know, there's no food in me. That's probably it. Uh, I, I usually, you know, have bloating, like I mentioned before. That's completely gone. And it feels great to just be so airy, as if I'm floating in the clouds, kind of. Nah, that's just me being dramatic. Anyways, uh, Jason and Christina comes home in a few hours. I'm gonna eat this right now, break the fast. It's an apple. I can't wait to eat some real food. Mm. Oh. Feels weird to chew. Oh. My jaw is like. Kinda. Well, that does feel good though. Wow, instantly, instantly I feel, maybe it's all placebo, but on the mind, but what an amazing apple. No apple has ever tasted so good. I'm gonna play with Zia for a little bit and then just savor in the last few hours of me being a British man in the south of London. I'm so hungry, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. It's so good. Hey, it's so good. Twelve. Good. Mm, good, Zia, good. She reacts to any kind of cursing. Best to avoid cursing around her. <laughs> Zia, go to bed. Go. Go to bed. Do you have something to tell me? 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 Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Come on, come on, come on. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm back. Come on. Come on. How's it going? How's it going? You, you look uh, rejuvenated. No man, it was hard work, I tell you. It was uh, definitely hard work. Yeah, I just more than sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yes. Yeah, everything is fine. I just accumulated a lot of trash and that's it. It's cold, but I've kind of got used to it. Oh. But as soon as I come back here, it's cold. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cold. been very cold inside your house. Yeah. I wonder what your dog would think if you know, we both sit together like this. Uh, does she think that we are one person? She like, thinks suddenly wider? She's not sure. She spent a lot of time with you. Even right. when I've come well, back, she stayed with you. Like, yeah, well, it's because I'm wearing your clothes. That's wearing what... my clothes. And she thinks I've just taken my glasses off. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I wear glasses too. <laughs> yeah. That is what I wear, literally. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But I think every time I've been on camera, I've been wearing my pajamas. <laughs> So the entire time, anyone right. at home thinking this guy, he's so cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's because I'm wearing my pajamas. No, it's no nobody me. thinks you're cheap. Trust me, but it's because I've taken all your clothes. Um, that's gonna wrap it up for for this this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining uh, us or me and Zia, and you know. Uh, but the thing is, after the juice cleanse, I don't know how. You know, does it actually work or not? I don't know. I don't think it's scientifically proven or anything like that. I do feel better. Um, my desires to have a, a dog because it's a big commitment. Uh, it's a huge, you know, uh, at the time, it's, 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 you know, it's a very... Uh, very big commitment. It's a very big commitment um, and I really have to rethink it. You're always welcome to take care of our dog every time you come over. So I expect you to give <laughs> us a, 
a shout every time <laughs> you think of uh, coming to visit. Um, there's always uh, this place where you can take care of a dog, wipe her butt, and uh, clean her paws, as they, and feed her. Paws, butt, feeding. She's going to be very upset when Kyle leaves. I think my dog's going to be very upset. I've never seen my dog abandon me and stay in the one room it's your clothes. that a complete stranger is in and just does not want to go anywhere else. I find it very strange and unnerving. But that just shows you how good of a house sitter Kyle is or, or how, a pet sitter. Or how disloyal your dog is. Yeah. That too. Yeah. But uh, it was a great learning experience and I don't think I would have ever had the opportunity in my entire life to taking uh, care of a staffie owned by a Vietnamese guy living in the suburbs in the south of London like stable this. Stable so. Vietnamese guy. A, a what? A stable Vietnamese guy. A stable guy. Vietnamese guy. One of the only stable <laughs> Vietnamese guys in the world. There if you think you are more stable than I am, give us a call and let him know. You deserve to be on video. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but okay, just uh, let's just sign out. You know, the whole usual thing. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned because the next video, I'll explore more of London so you guys will get a better idea. Are you going to miss her a little bit? When yeah, you're of course. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about that earlier. I was like, oh man, we, we finally got close, you know. But the best thing about this experience was that I didn't have to pick up the poop. That was the best thing. Yeah. Uh, if, if if I had to pick up the poop, that would that have been, been a bit challenging. Too hard. That would have been very challenging, yeah. There's a new British uh, show on the uh, Channel 4. What? It's called uh, Two Vietnamese <laughs> Guys <laughs> and a Staffing. <laughs> I'm not a weirdo, okay? Yeah, no, I know no a lot cursing. of people watching no, this. No cursing. No, no, no cursing in front of your dog. No, yeah. That guy. <laughs> oh, no cursing. Yeah, no cursing. Yeah.